Chinese Army is building up low-altitude air defense systems to combat targets like low-flying American AH-64 Apache attack helicopter to supersonic fighter jets up to 20,000-meter altitude. Taiwan, Japan, Korea, and U.S. Pacific forces all have AH-64 Apache helicopter, a highly effective combat platform. To counter it, China is building a system including HQ-16 missile, HQ-7 missile and FN-6 missile, plus anti-aircraft guns. In a video released January 2022, Chinese Army are practicing joint operation of multiple missile to combat hostile low to mid-altitude targets. Drones are used to simulate AH-64 Apache and fighter jets. The HQ-16 system is a medium-range semi-active radar-guided surface-to-air missile. It can shoot down targets a few meters above ground, ideal for combating helicopters. A typical HQ-16 formation consists of one command vehicle, one search radar vehicle, three radar guidance vehicles and 12 launch vehicles. Each launch vehicle carries up to six missiles. The missile system also work with HQ-9 long-range active radar surface-to-air missiles. The HQ-17 is an all-weather, low to medium altitude, short-range surface-to-air missile system based on Russian Tor M1. It is installed on tractor-wheeled off-road armor vehicle, enabling the ability to follow armor column and provide protection on the go. The HQ-17 is the best short-range mobile air defense system in China, it can swiftly fire a target while on the move, providing exceptional cover against AH-64 Apache and low-flying fighters. The HQ-7 missile is a much older design, based on the French Crotail system, still serving in Chinese Army. FN-6 is a third-generation infrared-guided man-portable air defense system, it has seen action in Middle East countries, shooting down multiple aircrafts. It has a range of 6 kilometers and a maximum altitude of 3,800 meters. The FN-6 has an advanced imaging sensor to counter flares launched by target aircrafts. It is believed the Chinese Army have deployed comprehensive battlefield information digital network, enhancing the capability of air defense units to work as a highly efficient network of firepower. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, please subscribe, share and comment. It will really help us developing this channel and bring you more videos about Chinese military news. Thank you.